Well, it's almost Christmas. The warm season grass is dormant. Didn't do any treatment over here on this side of the lawn for the dandelion infestation. So you can see that those are still green. Well, it's only 20 degrees this morning and the grass I'm walking on, I'm not really worried about. Walking on your frost covered lawn will kill the areas you walk in. And you'll notice the next year you have little low spots. This whole area is going to get a non-selective treatment come spring because I've tested a few spots with this St. Augustine and I'm going to stay off of the St. Augustine but you notice I did a kill right here in this area. I did that kill with fire. Uh, we burned a stump where a dogwood tree was exposed to too much light. It died so we built the fire around it and uh, burned it down. So we've got this barren area around it. Now you'll notice the condition of the soil is very poor right here. It's just this old yellow, new, no nutrient having soil. And you can see where the stump's rotting away. There's enough nitrogen there that we've got a little patch of mushrooms growing in it. So today we've got frozen mushrooms, but the little St. Augustine sprouts that I put in, they've sprouted out from the little tiny sprigs. If you remember that video, they've sprouted out. But what we're gonna have to do, oh yeah, some of this, we used to call it funny weed when we were kids. It's actually a cacti and it grows up, puts off a big purple head on it. I've talked about those before being a good nectar for honeybees. They're not good in your lawn. Uh, they are hard to come across in lawns, but if you're barefoot and you run across that, you regret it for a while. Anyway, back on topic, where I'm gonna do a total kill back here, and I'm gonna transfer St. Augustine back here into the back lawn. Now the reason I wanna do St. Augustine as you'll see, the little patches that I put down, they've spread out really thick, really nice. They choke out most of the weeds under them. It doesn't turn brown in the winter, but St. Augustine will grow in shade. Now you'll see a lot of people, they'll make the mistake of putting things like Bermuda or the Zoysia, like I have in the front lawn, which gets sun 24 hours a day, it seems like. So if you've got a shady area, your certain grasses aren't going to grow well. And then what you have is they die off and the weeds take over. So I've come back and I've tested several areas with the St. Augustine, because here in the South, I do like to have a break from mowing lawns. I don't want to mow lawns 12 months out of the year. And, uh, I've killed a couple spots off. I did some tests with some other types of grass. As this area here, the grass that I tried here did not succeed. It's a grass similar to St. Augustine, but it does not do well in shade. So I'm gonna get back here and get all these leaves mulched up uh, once it thaws out. I've gotta get that big stump drug out of the way, get it to the burn pile. And uh, get the weeds treated back here. I want to do a kill off on all this. We've got this, we've got dandelions, we've got these different field grasses growing back here. And uh, get the back lawn ready for spring. Yeah, getting ready for spring here in December. And you can see where I had the pile of wood that I moved down to there, right here. So I'm cleaning all this up. I'm gonna use what's left in this pile in the compost barrel. And once this thaws out, the little ice crystals will break away. I'm gonna put my next patch of St. Augustine right over here on this patch that I've let uh, firewood 
actually season for a year before I moved the pile. I just wanted to see what the soil would look like under it and it looks really good. So that's a natural fertilizer. If you want to fertilize your whole lawn, just get about 14,000 cords of wood and stack it. Just kidding. You can uh, simply make compost and thinly spread compost over the next couple years on your lawn and you'll be there. Nothing's overnight if you want it to last. If you do a bunch of chemical synthetic fertilizers, it's gonna be on it, it's gonna be green, and as soon as you quit throwing them to it, it's gonna turn back to weedy, starving crap like this. So, the next video will be me out here setting the tripod up at a distance and walking the lawn I'll have to bring my spray tanks out of retirement for the winter and uh, set them up and I'll be doing a total kill because I want to kill all the winter weeds and I'm even going to have to kill the moss off if I had about three times as much shade I would just do moss for a loan it'd be like an oriental moss garden but I don't have enough shade for that. Actually, the soil quality is even too poor for moss. But in your growing stages, moss will be the first thing to grow and it'll break down. And over decades, you'll finally get some nutrients from the moss breaking down. And then you'll get other plants to start growing. And over the decades of that plant growing and dying off and breaking down, you'll get some more soil. Finally, the world will build topsoil back on itself. But we don't have that going on. I'm not going to live long enough to see that. So I'm going to intervene and try to do a monoculture crop back here myself. And it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to have to mosey off down the street and go to work on some fiberglass boats. And uh, i got to get one ready to give back to a friend and then I've got to get one ready to give away on my pops old boats channel. So yeah I'm giving away a 21 foot sailboat on that channel and uh, yeah, be sure to jump over and subscribe there if you want a sailboat thanks for viewing like subscribe and follow this is Phil the Lone Man enjoying a 22 degree weather morning